something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Yeah, and you just can't worry about the score right here. You just gotta be able to spring What's the deal, everybody? It's your boy Meet You Battle coming at you today with a video showing you some MLB the show 16 gameplay. It's my road to the show. Um I'm a little out of whack with the road to the show, so as you can see, I'm no expert, but it's a work in progress because, you know, we play games out here. Everybody doesn't play the same type of game, but everybody plays games. So, yeah, shout out to the council. Shout out to the brethren. Shout out to the wife who beat Layers of Fear. Uh, streamed every bit of it. Uh, if y'all want to check that out, her page, Timbo Battle, go watch her scream like a little girl. Um... The homie Persona uh, at Persona underscore gaming. He uh, had a stream of all of Quantum Break. Uh, feel free to go check that out. And speaking of that stream, that's the topic of the conversation today. No, not Quantum Break the game itself. But all these people crying about game length. And trying to make make these defenses of of certain stuff, you know. First off. Let me just put this out there, right? For all these people to be like, oh, you have to play the game on hard, stop it. The game was designed to be played through on normal. The harder difficulties offer you more of a challenge. But normal is the way the game was designed to be played. So for all of you super extreme gamers they'd be like well if you play it on hard it'll be different stop it the game was designed to be played on normal that's why they have a normal everything above or below normal is not what anybody raise your hand anybody anybody yes that's right anything that's not normal is not normal <clears throat> so that being said you have a bunch of people crying when people say, oh, well, I beat Quantum Break in eight hours. Well, you must have skipped all the cutscenes. Yeah. You must have played on easy. You must have had on aim assist and all this other stuff. If you play it on hard, you'd play it long. Look, the difficulty of the game has nothing to do with the length of the game. Let me explain something about length, right? Okay. Length. It's a measurement, right? Your the amount of time you spend the, the it's, I'll say that wrong. Hold on. The the length of let's say quantum break. If you played through and you didn't die, and everything went smooth, would not be ten hours. <clears throat> would not be twelve hours. Would not be twenty one hours. As in other people's uh, photographed uh, evidence, <clears throat> wouldn't be 92 hours. Quantum Break is probably around 6 to 8 hours long, including the cutscenes. There have been people to beat it faster. Some people say they skipped some stuff. I can't prove what they skipped or not, but I'm just saying the length doesn't change. Now, the amount of time that you spent getting to the final destination that's on you because you know quantum break excuse me we've got all my stuff going off in the background but uh yeah the quantum break was designed to be a game where the where the protagonist doesn't die if he dies the game ends right so he's designed to go through this error free. So all these errors you make, all these diversions you take in playing the game, and all the stuff that you try to say to make the game last longer than it really is, if that's on you. It's like people cried about the order, right? And they'll be like, well, the order is short. The order is this. The order is that. And it, it is for some people. Some people beat it fast. Some people purposely ran through it. Some people took their time and enjoyed it. But none of that changes the order's length. No, nothing stops it from being a, a, a six to eight hour game. Just like Quantum Breaks, a six to eight hour game. 
it is what it is. It would be different if, oh, let's say, there was a trophy for beating the uh, the order in under three hours. Then you would have physical evidence that says, hey, people can beat the order in under three hours. We're not talking about supposed speed runs. We're not talking about skipping cutscenes or anything. There would be something that says, hey, you can beat this game under three hours. Like, for example, in Ori and the Blind Forest, there is an achievement for beating the game in under three hours. So if I ask you how long is Ori and the Blind Forest, that answer should be it can be beaten in under three hours. Not because somebody speed ran it, not because of all this other stuff, but because there's an achievement that lets you know that you can run through this game in under three hours. Also, I would like to address people trying to add replay value to 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 Quantum Break. And I know you guys want to you want this game to be to be great. You want it to seem like it's better than it is. You just want bragging rights for the game. It's cool. It's cool. But <clears throat> you have to stop making your own rules for the game. If you're not able to to hold a standard to both sides, then don't hold a standard. If how do I word this properly? Because I don't want to offend anybody. Because you know we have people who who like to cover stuff up. <sighs> Nicest way to say this. Here we go. If you gotta pull lies out your ass to try to clean up the reputation of the game, stop it. Like, if you have to just blatantly lie about the game, stop it. <clears throat> we told some people that Quantum Break was used at GameStop already. You have people saying that it can't be used at GameStop because they have to keep it for two weeks. It's a new game. They're not allowed to sell it. And though that may be true in some places... I can't say that because I don't know personally, but some people say it, so I maybe some places that is the case. But where I'm from, they have them used already in GameStop. So hey, you don't tell me that I can't find Quantum Break used. I've seen them already. I saw them when I went to buy Halo 5, which I will be streaming a little bit of. Uh, I'll be doing some SWAT gameplay. Um, but yeah. This other lie that's going around about Quantum Break. Because people like to say there was no replay to the Order 1886. But Quantum Break has replay value. Okay. So is there an achievement in Quantum Break? And you tell me because I don't own the game. Is there an achievement for getting an alternate ending? You let me know. Because if there's not, that replay value that you made up to get that alternate ending is a complete and total fabrication, a bend of the truth, a prevarication, a lie. You know, you have to stop forcing things to be good. If it's good, it's good. It'll stand on its own two feet. And no matter how much you slander it, it'll still hold up. You have people trying to defend how clunky and and the the the, the shooting is. Now look, I've played the order. I've played years. Those games operate pretty smooth, considering they're no so come from from. They're not even so come confrontation, but. But considering the current games, they're both pretty smooth. Then there's the division. The division is poop, movement-wise, for me. I think the characters move really clunky. I don't like the cover system in the division. Sometimes you can be stuck to, to the surfaces for too long. Uh, yeah, I think it's poop. When I watch people play... 
Quantum Break? Because I'm not contributing any... I'm not donating anything to Quantum Break. That game never piqued my interest. I was never interested in it. I'm not playing it. But when I look at it, and I see some of the movement, I see the, the trouble people have shooting. <clears throat> I see the the complaints with blind fire like you can't blind fire with a gun but you can blind fire with superpowers what is that you know <clears throat> it's things like that that people are pacifying like well you know what you don't need to blind fire a weapon okay if you don't need to blind fire a weapon you don't need to blind fire powers how are you justifying the powers you don't have to lie to make things better you don't have to to pacify yourself you don't have to say, you know what? I'm going to make an exception for this simply because it's my my a game from my brand of choice. <clears throat> it's it's really sad when you think about it at the end of the day. Uh, the amount of lies some people have to spew, they have to tell to to just cover up the the misfortunes. If if it's failing, let it fail. Like, for example, you have people excited over, oh, let's say, give me a game. <clears throat> people talking about God of War being being Norse. Who gives a shit? I don't give a lovely goddamn where God of War is at. I'm probably not playing it. I didn't really buy none of the other ones. I didn't really play them. I played them when my brother had them. I looked at it for a little bit, but I never played that game. <clears throat> Hell. I had PS Now, never touched the God of War. So, that tells you about my interest in God of War. Not that it's not a good game, but I could just give a fuck less. I have the Uncharted collection. Check and see how far I am in it. Can have people hype for Uncharted 4? Yeah. Not me. I tell you what, let Madden drop. I'm there. I have MLB to show. <coughs> Excuse me. I have MLB to show. You won't find too many other people playing this that I know. You have a lot of people here be like, oh, you guys aren't playing MLB The Show. Well, I am. <laughs> it's not a lot of people that you know. Yeah, okay. Just like I can say, I don't know a lot of people to play Halo 5. It's people on the game, but nobody I know. So, it is what it is. But you don't have to lie to make games better than what they are. They will stand on their own two feet. They have their own merit. You have people who slaughtered Killzone for the temporal resolution thing they, they were doing to achieve 1080p. The funny part is, now you have people saying that Quantum Break is blurring the line between cutscene and gameplay, when it's really not. The cutscenes look a lot better than the gameplay, but this has been done already before. You have games that had been knocked because people said they didn't want to play a movie. They wanted to play a game. But then when Quantum Break drops, people are all of a sudden interested in the in the story. Well, if you didn't watch the story, you didn't get the full impact of the game. Sit y'all asses down somewhere. Who's playing a game and they actually want to sit down and watch 22 or 20 minute episodes in between? That actually kills the the vibe of gaming for me like if if I had to watch this stream this video that I'm doing in the middle of me playing MLB the show I would never finish this shit I would turn this shit off you cannot take my attention away for 15 to 20 minutes and think I'm gonna sit there no 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 oh. but but there's a lot of things that people have been making justifications for, and I just don't really feel like I don't have the energy to, to get into all of them. But I'm just here to let you guys know. You don't have to cover up the shit. You don't have to pacify it. Let it be what it's going to be. And uh, stop lying to your motherfucking self. It's your boy Michi Battle. And I'm gone. Y'all have a nice day. Keep gaming. And I'm going to shoot some of y'all in the motherfucking face on Halo 5 eventually. You. Just watch your faces. I'm out.